Good morning and welcome, everybody. We're back at it again. And for all you that have been keeping up on my series, you're probably thinking, what the fuck? Is that Dante's? And you'll be right in thinking that. It's a long story, and it's a wonderful tale, but we can't share that today. As we are moving on with pushing content, we have got ourselves a little bit of a build setup here, and as agreed with uh, sort of the channel and the community, we are going to be pushing content a little bit quicker and uh, moving things along. We are going to be farming, updating, doing bits and bats off the video series as well, but they will be uploaded in separate VODs from Twitch TV. If you are indeed interested in joining us in the farming, in the exploration, and doing bits and bats within the game, discussing builds and whatnot, it's uh, www.twitch.tv forward slash UK Vapes and Games Official. We'd love to have you there on the channel. So, we've been uh, build, building and bolstering our collection. So we have got some new items here to collect today. We've got the burst stun, the Soma Assault Rifle, um, the Hard Hildren Prime Systems, the Karax currently building, and we've got a few other bits and bats that we're going to just set off here. Just get this shit going nice and easy. Pardon my French. I'm in a really good mood today, actually. There's actually going to be a heat wave where I'm living today. So, I'm recording this video nice and early. Just got back from a two kilometer walk. Uh, for anyone that's interested, I am doing a fitness and weight loss journey over on the channel as well that's available in a handy playlist. If you're into that type of thing, go and check it out. So, we've also, since the last episode, we've got our vampire Kavat. We've got Dante's, we've got some new weaponry, and things are going reasonably well. So we're going to check out the Codex. We've still not done the Wave Rider. I think this is going to have to get done today on the stream. As much as I'm avoiding it, I really don't want to do that quest. But hey, it's got to be done. So we're working our way towards Neptune Junction. We've got to defeat... Till Rigor on Titania, Titania on Uranus. So we're going to do, do uh, uh, can we do that yet? Can we actually go to Uranus yet? Ah, no, we can't. You see, we've still got the issue. We got boosted. We got taxied, as the community likes to call it, to Uranus. And it did actually unlock um, a mission that we were not due to do i think we got series finished off yesterday uh demios apart from the boss proving quite difficult but we may do that oh shit we may do that today uh we did uh did we do Eris? long story short we cleared a lot of nodes out making our way around to jupiter and whatnot and things are going pretty well. Leveled up quite a lot of warframes, quite a lot of weapons. Uh, got some good loot. We've also joined a syndicate, which is the Red uh, Veil, is it? The Red Veil we joined. Uh, as requested by the community that I joined one. And we're also in a dojo. Uh, for anyone that's interested, I'm in a dojo. So we're going to get some more nodes unlocked here. Don't know if we need to do the invasion. All the mobile defense will satisfy this because we want to push through pretty quick, realistically. I've had some wonderful gifts um, that I did, unfortunately, open on the stream yesterday and not on this today's video. Um, as I'd never had time to record yesterday, sadly. So we just live streamed instead. It was this very, very busy. Had a lot of stuff going on. We're going to... Make our way through it ASAP. We keep pushing through nice and easy. Oh, have I gone the wrong way already? Oh, 
So this is sort of my farming setup, we'll call it for now. This will only get more difficult. Beautiful AOE skills from Dante there. Probably the most broken Warframe in the game, or so I'm led to believe at the moment. Rocking the Dexter Karna and the Bulltar at the moment. The hell? Terminal hacked. Keep moving. Did I just die there? Are we sure? I'm gonna keep moving anyway. I'm just gonna get through these nodes ASAP. As the community have stated, like this is not the type of uh, content they want to watch. Which is understandable. The more I'm actually learning about the game, like I understand um, sort of what's prevalent and what's not currently. Okay, let's go. I'm still learning Dante's abilities really properly. Like, there's quite a lot of combos uh, that he can do. But an absolutely overpowered uh, Warframe, to say the least. I really don't see how they're ever going to balance this character. Um, at this point, I'm not even sure if I'm going to play any other Warframe because it's just so powerful. It just seems just ludicrously overpowered. I do really enjoy Excalibur, though. Uh, one of my viewers actually bought me a skin for Excalibur yesterday, so I'm probably going to be... Uh, doing some farming on Excalibur later on. They're so strong, them abilities. They're just crazy. The fact that everything's just AoE. Like, everything just hits multiple targets. Through walls and everything. It's just insane. Area completed. Move on. Moving on. I've obviously not got an end game set up yet because uh, regardless of how good the the character currently is, I obviously don't have all the mods uh, currently available. But we will have. We've got to make our way. We did a lot of this map yesterday. It's kind of a bit of a pain in the backside. A lot of acrobatics for sure. Very heavy on energy though, this character. The odds were against us too, Probably gets alleviated um, the better the mods get and stuff. I'm not to check. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got blow. Uh, enable on this character but I may just double check after this mission I know I've definitely got the, uh, the the move speed one just to get through the levels a little bit quicker uh, the sprint speed one that is there we go mission completed so the Red Veil is the one we joined. Obviously, we're getting the Steel Meridian as well. Uh, Dante is now max rank. We're just going to check. It was level 29 before. We're just going to have a little bit of a look. And make sure that we are running optimally with what we currently have. Um, so let's have a look. So we're going to check. If we do an auto install, what's it actually do? It gives us vitality, ability duration, ability strength, max energy, ability range, ability efficiency, shield capacity. Hmm. Do we need ability duration, really? I kind of feel that, like, rush is probably better. It's going to be, uh, obviously, getting through the levels as uh, quick as humanly possible, really. 
I haven't got enough endos to do that. Which is a shame. As ready as you will ever be. Let's move on to the next node we are going to be unlocking. So, to do this, we need to make our way to Uranus. To get to Uranus, we've got to go through Saturn. So, in order to do that, we are going to have to unlock all these nodes. Meso Fisher capture, capture. Let's do this. Uh, get a relic. Might as well kill two birds with one stone here. As you can see, my ship's had a bit of a paint job as well. We did a uh, mission to get a skin for my lander. Which is pretty dope. Somebody's on, uh, on a Nintendo Switch or a phone here. It's taking its time. But it is one of the wonderful things about the game that it is available you on multiple platforms. And bring them to the extraction point. Happy if someone's left there, it looks like they've crashed, Boy maybe. You need them to open a relic, but on... we keep cruising through here. Target has vital information that we will need to There we extract. go, easy. Don't forget the Where's the target at? We've got them, right? Let me introduce my new friends. My latest in We got them pretty course. quick there. Do apologize if you just heard my email notification sound. I am <laughs> constantly forgetting to close my emails before I start recording. Let's go. Go, relic craft. Go, baby. Speed running this shit right now. Oh, just slid there. Why it didn't carry on sliding? Meow. Meow. Let's go. So, burst and prime stop, burst and prime blueprint. Very, very nice. Uh, we do have the Excel Tra Prime blueprint already. And we've got a burst and in build. So, the burst and prime will be the naturally better version of that. Well, I'll be interested to see what that's like. I do like the battle rifles in Halo, so perhaps it's. Uh, Similar refer. Bup, 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 bup. Best shot. Let's just exit this. Move straight on to a new node. So I'm hoping today we can push some real content and on the live stream so we can come at you in the next video with some uh, core campaign content which is what we're aiming for really judging by feedback that is the way forward um we covered a lot of the blow farming and uh grind of the game on the live stream i just feel moving forward this is going to be the better way to go about it if you're in agreement, let me know in the comments below or uh, if you want to see every single little aspect of my journey here on YouTube, also let me know. Um, I'll be intrigued to see what people actually prefer. Um, okay. Ah, so we're, we're checkpoint capturing. I remember this one. Should be easy enough. This tower is ours now. I don't think we'll have particularly any problems doing this with the move speed, uh, the ability range and ability damage that we're currently rocking. I know there are specific tower. builds for Dante, but at the moment, I don't actually have... Um, I don't actually own all the mods. I think getting the real high-end niche mods is going to be where the real farming uh, is later on. 
getting the Endor and the rare mods, I think, is what's going to separate the mice from the men. I love the fact that you could, like, slice one way, then flip the other. You could sort of go, like, there, and then there, and hit two directions. Pretty, pretty fucking insane. Um, on this character, boom. Capturing Bravo. Bravo being captured. Capture C here. Oh, I've got to keep remembering to press control when I land so I don't get the uh, the stun animation. Like, what are you doing, bro? I don't know if I'm getting, like, my energy drained or I'm doing his combos wrong, but I do struggle uh, a lot of the time, like, keeping my energy levels up on this character. You have a great secondary ability on Dante's buff as well, which is pretty awesome. But on this edit of the video, I made just show, like, the start and end of some of these missions um, with limited gameplay. Because obviously, I, I just don't think people want to watch uh, the farming aspects of the game. What the hell? Although it is hilarious watching me fight sometimes. I'm just kind of wondering, why do I have no energy currently? The enemy is dominating. You must capture a tower. Why is the enemy dominating? Shit. We better capture these quick, quick. I think there's like a mod that gives you a higher percentage chance uh, of dropping the blue mana crystals and like other things you can do to augment it. I just don't think I've uh, got it set up properly currently. It's going to be close. Way closer than it should be. No, no, no. Far too close, that. I don't understand why it was so close. Like, I did run out of energy quite a lot. I'm going to look that up, actually, after today's uh, video. And uh, ask on the live stream how we go about maintaining our energy. Because I'm sure there is a way of maintaining uh, the energy levels a lot better than what I'm doing. Perhaps he's just group them up and then do the AOE. Whoa, what's actually going on here? Ah, we joined him mid game. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Got vamps, the vampiric doji. Here we go. This is where our big ability is going. Point. See, if we're a little bit more thoughtful about where we actually use our abilities. Like, it is a massive pack clearing ability. It's very, very strong. I mean, the fact that it goes through walls and stuff like that, it's just pretty insane. Well, probably, so far, Dante is probably my favorite um, next to Excalibur. I think Excalibur is still a little bit more fun, in my opinion. Um, but this character is definitely up there. One hundred percent. Seems super strong. I don't know if they've nerfed Dante yet. I know they're talking about doing it, but I don't know if it's actually been done yet. Just decimating all with this character. Felt like um, manager use was a lot better. Though. We're just waiting on a few more players to join us here. I don't know what they're actually doing. Additional life support has arrived. Meow. Meow. Post migration in progress. What's happened is he just left. 
the hell? Strange. It's almost like people are disconnected at the moment or something. So, great news as well on the horizon. We are now recording in 4K and... I've got a new internet provider coming on Wednesday with a 2 gigabit upload. So the videos are going to be getting uploaded uh, and converted a lot quicker. Um, and let me know how y'all feeling about kind of the shorter updated episodes and me live streaming and putting my VODs up. Um, I may be rigging up the system today also try and record 4k whilst live streaming so i can actually upload a higher quality vod for you guys i'm working on a lot of things behind the scenes to try and bolster my warframe content and if that's something you indeed enjoy and you're not currently subscribed make sure that you subscribe and ring the post notification bell and i've had a few people saying that they're not being updated on my latest videos what you need to do is when you ring that post notification bell make sure you set it to all and not personalized uh, if you could do that for me, it would be much appreciated and you could win a cookie. We are also looking at doing a giveaway at a thousand subscribers. So the sooner we hit that, the sooner y'all have a chance to win whatever it may be. Not decided yet, maybe an Amazon gift card, maybe some in-game points. I'm not sure, uh, but stay tuned to find out. So we got the spy one here. Exterminate. Let's do uh, this one. We are just Nord clearing at the moment. And we're going to do my best to finish these up today. On the live stream and whatnot. And get through to the mission everyone wants to see, which is the second dream. I'm trying my best for y'all to get there. It has took me a while to pick up the game. And for that, I apologize. But I had to do things at my own pace. Um, I didn't want to just be boosted through everything. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've had a lot of help with the game. A lot of generous gifts from the community, and I am so very, very grateful. Which is why a thousand subs, I feel like I want to give something back to this super generous community. That has showed me so much love. Um... What's going on here? Alarms. Data destruction is imminent. You need to hurry. Let's hope he's got that one covered. If it hasn't, you got it. Uh oh, this is not looking good. He's fucked up, hasn't he? Oh, my God. There's a heavy unit approaching. Relics of the bygone era. My amalgams are the new paradigm. And I'm out of energy again. I don't know what the hell's happened now. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Oh, why'd you do it? I wiped the execute for the fucking energy, you bagger. What's going on, man? This thing sapping my sapping my power. I think it might be. Okay. Moving swiftly on. Let's go, baby. Do 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 do
Nice. Ooh, tech, 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 oh, Tano. Uh, wow, it's slow. Excellent work. A clean extraction with no alarms. Did you got it? Be gone? Yeah, you got to it before me. How the hell do you get there so quick? Like a like a super ninja. Oh, well done, mate. Ampar's Andrew doing bits for me. Oh shit. I don't know what it is, but energy seems really hard to come by sometimes. Auto breach. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Yeah, the abilities seem kind of wasted on single target. Like, why could I not assassinate him? Hello? This is the last one. Looks like my guy's got it over here, maybe. We drop down here, or... How do we actually get, get to that one? Like, what the hell? Oh shit, there's a lift. You need to retrieve that data before the data destruction. Dude! You triggered the alarm! You got yeah. it. The data oh we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. My boy got this! Get to extraction. He ain't no beginner. Let's go, let's get to extraction, baby. Yeah, I'll wait for him. Team player, team player. Hashtag team player. We've got robots inbound. Uh, easy though. I don't know if there's some trick. Do uh, generating energy with this character. If there is, please let me know. Another job well executed. As I would love to know if there is a little bit of a Geeky trick to it. But I'm going to be able to ask it on the live stream. Hopefully, they can point me in the right direction. And we are approaching the 40 minute mark, but we are going to try and sneak one more in and with some uh, quality editing. Oh, we should be able to. Should be able to squeeze it in. I think we might just be slightly over 30 minutes, which is the requested length by quite a few here. 
that we're going to have to condense it down to the most action-packed moments. I'm sure when we get to the story stuff, I'll probably, I'll probably have to do a bit of a longer, uh, long-form video with like the second dream and stuff. I've been told by a lot of people it's quite long. Um, I don't know how long. If anyone could give me an approximate length or how they want me to uh, lay to out. Like maybe one full episode or maybe split up. I'm not entirely sure how, uh, how you would prefer it to be done. I mean, if it's hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, then it's going to have to be separated, but... All these lockers open. Fallen enemies will drop crucial life support. Be on the lookout. All these open. Feels far too strong that ability. I don't really know what they could do about it. Life support on the way. I don't really know what they could do to nerf it. We are going to try and watch the live stream as well this week. We did. We have missed it the past two weeks, but we've been so busy. But we are going to try and sort of watch the Twitch live stream this week uh, and give our feedback on that. Uh, it was supposed to be a regular thing. It fell a bit, a little bit by the wayside, which I do apologise for. Things have been. Kind of crazy. Life support has been replenished. I'm just wondering how long. 227 I don't think we're in this map a terribly long time life support activated Support capsule. Nobody seems to be dropping the blue orbs right now. You see what I mean? Why do I keep using my abilities? Well, there we go. There was one there. It's still left us at about 100. I love the fact that it shards boxes as well. I think that's why you get so little energy feedback. Maybe that's sort of a balancing thing they've tried to do with the character. Because it hits through walls. I am so sorry about my emails as well, <laughs> honestly. I'll make sure that it's switched off for the next episode. <laughs> In fact, I'm just going to roll tab and just shut it down now. Get ready for a capsule. There we go, it's off. There we go, another successful mission completer. So I hope very much so that you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. 
And make sure you subscribe and ring the post notification bell, making sure that you tick the all bell at the top to ensure you never miss out on a future upload. We've been making some great progress in the game and we'd love to see you over on the live stream. Or if not, just follow me here. Uh, I keep updated regularly and I'm currently uploading VODs alongside with my Warframe. Let's play series. And I'm having a great time with the game and the community. But with all that out of the way, I wish you all a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Where hopefully, touch wood, we'll be pushing some more story content and getting into that juicy campaign. Thanks for watching.